Okay, Kipsters, today we're going to be plotting points on a coordinate grid. Most important thing to know is that the x-axis goes horizontally and it's labeled as x, and the y-axis goes vertically and it's labeled y. Now on a coordinate grid, there is always a start in which we start at, there's always a point in which we start at, and that is called the origin. The origin is the intersection of both the x and the y axes. And the origin's coordinates are always 0, comma, 0. Now, there's a rule that we have to follow when we're plotting points on a coordinate grid. The rule is the x coordinate will always come first, followed by the y coordinate. Now, if we are moving to the right of 0, then our x will be positive. But if we're moving to the left of 0 on the x axis, then our x will be negative. Likewise, on the y-axis, if we move up on the y-axis, above 0, the answer will be positive. But if we move below 0, think of it as like below sea level, then it's going to be negative, the y-coordinate, that is. So let's actually find the coordinates of point A. Let's find where A is. A is right here, so we have to get there. Start at our origin and we have to move to the left of 0 so we know that our x will be negative negative what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so I know that I'm now on, on the line where a is so I know my x is negative 8 and then I'm going up or down on 0 I'm going below 0 so I'm going to go down that's a negative 1, 2 Okay. So the x for a is negative 8, and the y is negative 2. Now there's a special rule that we have to follow when we're talking about um, plotting points on a coordinate grid. There's something that we identify as quadrants, and they're called quadrants because there are four of them. They're, think of them as special sections of the coordinate plane. We have the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, let's actually label these. In the first quadrant, we're moving to the right of zero to get there, so that our x will be positive. And our y, we're moving up to get there, so that will be positive. So both the x and y will be positive in the first quadrant. To get to the second quadrant, we're moving to the left of zero, so that will be negative, our x will be negative, and we're moving above zero, so our y will be positive. We have a pen issue going on here. One second. There we go our y will be positive. Okay. Next, we see in the third quadrant, to get there we go to the left of 0, so our x will be negative, and we go below 0 to get there, so our y will be negative. Then, to get to the fourth quadrant, we move to the right of 0, because it's located here, so our x will be positive, and we go below 0 to get there, so our y will be negative. So the rule in the first quadrant is that both the x and the y will be positive. For the second quadrant, both, um, both the x and the y will, will have different signs. You'll have a negative for the x and a positive for the y. In the third quadrant, both the x and the y coordinates will be negative. And in the fourth quadrant, the x will be positive and the y will be negative. If you think of it, think of a line of of opposite reflection here and you can literally see that the first and the third quadrant are opposites of each other so if both x and y are positive both x and y will be negative here in the second and fourth quadrant if the x is negative the y will the x will be positive in the fourth and in the second if the y is positive then the y will be negative in the fourth quadrant so always think of these rules when you are plotting points in a coordinate grid don't simply look at the numbers that are on the grid. Always start at your origin. Move to the left if the x is negative. Move to the right if the number is positive. 
and then move up if the y is positive and move down if the y is negative. With that new knowledge, let's actually find the coordinates of point B. Point B is located right here. That's in the second quadrant, so we should have a negative x and a positive y. Always start at your origin. Let's move to the left to get there. One, two, three. So our x will be what type of three? Negative three. And we're going up or down below zero. We're going above zero. So let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our x will be negative three and our y will be six.